So five to eight times the chances of a serious road crash. You have to ask yourself, why would you take that risk? Meth is a central nervous system stimulant and it activates the brain. And it does that by two different neurotransmitters that uh, make you feel good and alert and make you want to use that drug again. Meth makes you more alert and more active, makes you get more energy, but it also changes the way you think. It helps you uh, to focus on things, but it also makes you a bit more courageous and over-courageous. You so when you take meth, um, you might uh, think you are better than you are, that you are faster or more alert than you are, and you might taking, start taking bigger risks. So that's a situation where you can get yourself into trouble because you don't really judge the situation well. Drugs affect your risk as a driver in two main ways. They can affect your driving performance and your driving behaviour. So driving performance is your capacity to drive safely, your driving skills, your alertness, concentration, your reaction time, etc. While driving behaviour refers to the choices you make as a driver. Do you choose to drive in a sensible, cautious manner or do you take a lot of risks such as high level speeding or dangerous overtaking? Meth chiefly affects your risk as a driver by affecting your driving behaviour. So it increases your risk of having a crash by about five to eight times, chiefly through changing the decisions you make as a driver. Methamphetamine is known to make people feel invulnerable. And so when they're driving, they're far more likely to drive in a risky manner, such as driving uh, extremely fast or uh, making very risky manoeuvres, because they uh, fail to perceive any longer that they're at risk from doing such things. A recent large-scale study of thousands of road crashes looked at the role of drugs in fatal crashes particularly. And what they looked at was the incidence of different behaviours leading to the fatal crash. What was found was that people who had used methamphetamine were far more likely to have been speeding prior to the crash. This all fits very closely with what we know about the effects of methamphetamine. The high-risk driving behaviour you see that leads to crashes among methamphetamine users is exactly what you would expect given the effects that meth has on mood and risk taking. So five to eight times the chances of a serious road crash. You have to ask yourself, why would you take that risk? <laughs>